My name is Justin McRoberts, and I'm the host of the At Sea podcast. This is a clip from episode seven of the At Sea podcast, and our host is David Bizon. In this clip, David talks about what he calls his personal combination lock, which is a really interesting way to talk about the discovering of personal identity and the act of creating. That as a songwriter, as an artist, he's constantly checking for, looking for, and unraveling himself so that he knows what it is he's actually offering the world. So enjoy the clip, and I hope you check out the full interview by going to iTunes and searching either at C, as for his A-T-S-E-A, or my name, Justin McRoberts. Does having a large audience make that more difficult because so many people are perceiving you? Having a large audience, um, it just it just feels coincidental. It doesn't feel hmm. it doesn't feel meaningful. It seems pretty intentional. I mean, you're saying it's coincidental, but like, I mean, no, you... no, it, it's coincidental that they. It does. It's not. It doesn't mean that I am valuable or not valuable. Okay, you know what I mean? Like, because when control was happening and Pedro was bigger than we've ever been, I was the least satisfied I've ever been. You know what I mean? Because I hadn't unlocked my combination. Yeah, okay. I feel like I have to unlock me and understand how to work that thing at will. Yeah. Be able to walk up to the locker and unlock it and lock it back in it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. figure it out. Yeah. And then once that happens, it's almost like having a huge audience. It's like getting to the X marks the spot without having figured out yourself. Yeah, right. It's like, congratulations, you have a huge audience and you're still empty and lonely. Yeah. And... And the difference being is if you show up there and you figured out your combination, you don't feel empty and lonely. And now you have something really particular and a little bit more powerful to offer. Yeah. yeah. And if I don't end up with a large audience, but I unlock my combination, and this is what we were talking about as we were coming in, that that's what you try to tell people to do. Look, it's not about the audience. Yeah. They don't, that's not the point. It doesn't matter. You're trying to unlock your combination lock. Yeah. You know, you're trying to figure out how to, find equilibrium and and peace in the valley and a creative output yes. that honors what's going on in your subconscious and honors the people around you and all these things. And if you get a huge audience without achieving that, fuck you. I mean, you're going to be just so empty. So mm -hmm. that's what I mean that the audience yeah. is coincidental. It's just like either they're going to come or they don't, but that's not the litmus test for if if I've been successful. Hmm. It's internal. It's a it's a it's it's you know, man against himself kind of thing. And so but that said, there is a lot of data coming from that big group of people that yes. when it's that is corroborated in people who I know and I I can believe when they say like you need that you need that data verified by folks you trust. Yeah, because strangers you just don't know. It's the same thing. Somebody yeah. says, "Oh, you're awful." It's just like okay. I'm going to assume that you're awful and that's why you're saying that. Yes. And so I can walk away and not feel shitty. And I feel like you got to do the same thing with the other thing. Oh, you're great. And you just got to leave it. You yeah. know, Chappelle says, don't, if you pick it up, you got to put it back down at some yeah, point. Yeah, agreed. And so you just leave it there and do your work and know like that. It's not like you have to disregard it totally. You just can't own it. Own you it. can't, yeah, you can't yeah. let it into your house. You can't let it into your space where you're doing the thing. It's sort of that... It's a, it's a loose, you know, peripheral kind of gauge of, yeah. but at the same time, Van Gogh, you know, no, it's not, it's not a gauge of anything necessarily. Cause sometimes it takes forever to catch up. Yeah. So I don't want people to, to think like, oh, because people aren't responding. I feel like I've unlocked my combination. People aren't responding. What does that mean? Yeah. It means you're Van Gogh, hmm. you know, and why not just live with it? That's cool. That'd be dope. I mean, don't let it Kinda. turn you into a dick. Yeah. But just understand, like, I got to unlock my combination. That's it. That's yeah. all I can do, you know. And if people don't get it, if it's somehow wrong for the culture right now, if it's somehow the wrong message, it's either prophetic or I'm just straight wrong. And yeah. that's fine. And I don't need to know. I just yeah. need to unlock my combination. That's it. Hope you check out the full interview by going to iTunes and searching either at C, it's for his A-T-S-E-A, or my name, Justin McRoberts.